Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we be we'll be talking about dilution. We'll first talk about what dilution is, what, how, what the process is, and then we'll go into two example problems. Simply said, dilution is um, the process of turning a more concentrated solution into a less concentrated solution. So how this work is, you first we have a concentrated solution. We take some amount of the concentrated solution, transfer it into a new, new beaker, um, and then we add some water to that and we make it less concentrated. So you can see initially it was one molar. Then when we transferred it, it was still one molar. But then after adding water to that concentrated solution, we made it more dilute and turned it into 0.1 molar. And when you're working with dilutions, you're going to want to keep this equation in mind. M1V1 equals M2V2. All right, let's do two example problems. So the first example problem reads, if you dilute... 175 milliliters of a 1.6 molar solution of Li lithium chloride to one liter determine the new concentration of the solution. So since we know we're working with dilution, we're going to start off with the equation M1V1 equals M2V2. M1V1 is the molarity and the volume of the original concentration, and then M2 is the molarity of the new concentration, and V2 is the volume of the new concentration. So let's see what we have. We have 175 milliliters of the 1.6 molar solution. Now that's going to be M1 uh, and V1. So M1 is 1.6 molar, and then V1 is the volume of the original solution, which is 175 milliliters. And we're trying to figure out the new concentration, so we're trying to solve for M2. M2 is going to be my unknown one. I'm going to just leave it as X. V2 is the final volume. So it says we dilute the solution to a final volume of one liter. Notice on the left hand side V1 is in milliliters so we need to make V2 milliliters as well. As well. One liter is 1000 milliliters. Then we just use algebra and solve for the unknown so we divide both sides by 1000 milliliters and that way the milliliters cancel each other out leaving you X equals 0 0.28 molar. So that means we originally the concentration was 1.6 molar and then after diluting it to one liter it turned into 0.28 molar. Okay let's do another example. So the next example reads uh, a stock solution of 1.0 molar NaCO is available. How many milliliters of that stock solution are needed to make 100 milliliters of a 0.75 molar concentration solution. So again, we're working on dilution, so let's start with M1V1 equals M2V2, and let's see what our original molarity and volume is. Uh, our stock solution has a molarity of 1.00 molar, so that's going to be our M1, 1.00 molar. Uh, the original volume, it says uh, we it, we're, we're actually solving for that because this says how many milliliters of that 1.00 molar NaCl is needed. So that's our unknown V1. Just going to call that X. And then M2 is our final volume after diluting. And that's going to be 0.75 molar. And then V2 is the final volume, which is 100 milliliters. Then we just solve for unknown, so divide both sides, isolate the x, divide both sides by 1.00 molar. Then your molarity is going to cancel out, leaving you with just milliliters, and then x is going to be 75 milliliters. So that means we need 75 milliliters of the original 1.00 molar NaCl to dilute it into 0.75 molar NaCl. So here's pictorially how this looks like. We have our original concentration, which is 1.00 molar of the NaCl. Of that stock solution, we took um, 75 milliliters. So this 75 milliliters of it right here. And then we want a final volume of uh, 100 milliliters. So that means we have to add 25 milliliters of water to that 75 milliliters of the 1.00 molar NaCl to get us to the final volume of 100 milliliters and then by doing that we're going to get a final concentration of 0.75 molar.
And that's it. So those are two example problems of dilution. It really just comes down to knowing what the dilution process is and knowing that whenever you're dealing with the math of dilution, you're going to be using M1V1 equals M2V2. All right, hopefully that makes sense. And if it helped, uh, give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to the channel because I'll be t posting lots of videos that's going to help you chemistry, help you conquer chemistry. And if you like my tutoring style, teaching style, and you're inter interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. All right, keep practicing and I'll see you next time.